Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet these crossover dungarees which fit any of the animals in my crochet animal series. So for my dungarees I used a 3mm crochet hook and fine yarn. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So to begin your dungarees you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. And now once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain and we are going to chain 54. So chain one, two, three, four, all the way up to 54. So I have just finished making my foundation chain and now before we move on to round one, we need to turn our foundation chain that we have here into a foundation ring. So to do that, you want to slowly go along your foundation chain so go all the way down to the very first chain that you worked, making sure that there are absolutely no twists in your chain. And then you want to go into this first chain here, to the very first chain that you worked, and insert your hook into that chain, and then work a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And there we have turned our foundation chain into the foundation ring. And now we are ready to move on to round one. So to begin round one, you want to chain one. So chain one. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So round one is just a simple round of half double crochet. So we're just going to do one half double crochet into every single chain. So yarn over and go down into this very first chain that our chain one comes out of. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So there we have one half double crochet into that first chain there and now yarn over and go down into this next chain here and do the exact same thing, one half double crochet and then do one into the next chain and just keep doing this all the way along, one half double crochet into each and every chain. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round one and at the end of this round you should have 54 half double crochets and I would recommend that you just quickly go back and double check that you do have 54. And now to finish off this round we are going to do a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we worked. So insert your hook down into this very first half double crochet. So make sure that you're not going into the little chain one, but that you're going into the first stitch. And then whilst working this slip stitch, we are going to change colors. So drop the yarn that you were using and then take your new yarn or your new color. So I'm going with a green, place it over the end of your crochet hook and pull it through. So pull it through these stitches 
And there we have finished the round and finished the slip stitch and changed colours at the same time. And now you do not want to fasten off the colour that you are using, so I am not going to cut this blue yarn. You want to leave it here attached to the ball and that way we can pick it back up in a few rounds time. So when we want to go back to using this colour again, we can simply just pick that yarn back up and that will save us from having lots of ends to weave in at the end. So leave this ball of yarn still attached and we're ready to move on to round two. So to begin this round, you want to chain one and turn. So chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So round two is just another round of half double crochet. So we're just going to do one half double crochet into every single stitch. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch and work one half double crochet and then do one into the next stitch. And just continue this all the way around one half double crochet into every single stitch. So I have finished working that all the way around for round two and at the end of this round you should still have 54 half double crochets. And now we're going to finish off by doing a slip stitch into the first half double crochet of the round, so here, and we're going to change colours at the same time. So drop the yarn that you were using and now take your new yarn or your new colour place it over the end of your crochet hook and pull it through and there we have finished the slip stitch and finished the round and changed colours at the same time and now just as we did before we are not going to fasten off the yarn that we were using so I'm going to leave this green yarn here attached to the ball and then we can pick it back up in a few rounds time and now we're ready to move on to round three so we are now on to round three of our dungarees and for the next eight rounds, so for rounds three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten, so eight rounds, we are just going to repeat round two. So for each round you want to chain one and turn and that chain one never counts as a stitch. So we're going to chain one and turn and then you want to do one half double crochet into every single stitch and in each round that should be 54 half double crochets and then finish off by working a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that you worked and changing colours at the same time. And as we are using three colours, when you get to the end of round three and you change colours, it will be time to pick up the very first colour that we used again. So we still have this yarn attached to the ball, so I still have this blue yarn here. So I will insert my hook into the first stitch of the round, drop the yarn that I was using and then I'll simply take this blue yarn which is still attached to my work and then yarn over and pull it through both stitches to complete the slip stitch. So that is how you change colours working a slip stitch with the yarn that is still attached. So repeat round two until you get to the end of round ten. So there I have done those repeats, so I have rounds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9 and 10. And if you look on the inside of my work here, so this is the back and you can kind of see the seam. And then if you look on the inside, you can see this is where I have pulled up the yarn from the other rounds when it's still attached to the ball. So this is what your inside should look like. And then your outside is a little bit neater. So I'm just coming to the end of round 10 and I have 54 half double crochets in this last round and I would recommend that you double check that you do have that number in your very last round. So I just need to finish off this round by working a slip stitch and changing colours. So I'm going to go into the first stitch of the round, drop the yarn that I was using and then I'm going to take my new colour so I'm going with the green which is still attached to my work and I'm going to yarn over and pull through both loops. So there I have worked a slip stitch and changed colours at the same time and we're now on to round 11. So in round 11 we are going to begin adding the legs to our dungarees and when we add the legs we are going to do one leg, completely finish it and then move on and do the next leg in the exact same way. So you want to start off by chaining one and turning. And we are going to work 27 half double crochets or one half double crochet into each of the next 27 stitches. So yarn over, go down into this first stitch here and do one half double crochet then do one into the next one and the third and keep going until you have 27 So there I have finished working 27 half double crochets and this should have taken you halfway around. So this is going to be round one of the first leg. And now to finish off this round, we need to do a slip stitch and change colors. So we're going to do a slip stitch into the first half double crochet of the round. So you want to bring your yarn around here like this Go in through the very first stitch, so into that first half double crochet and then we're going to drop the yarn that we were using and take our new colour and I'm going with the white so I'm going to pick up this white which I still have attached to my work and the ball here and yarn over and pull through both loops. And there we have finished round 11, which is round one of the first leg. And now we're ready to move on to round 12. So to begin this round, chain one and turn. And we are going to do seven half double crochets. So go into the first stitch and do one. And then one into the next. And then a third and keep going until you have seven. So like that. And now we're going to do a stitch called two half double crochets together. And when we do two half double crochets together, we do two half double crochets one into each stitch, but we are not going to complete either of them and then we're going to complete them both together at the same time. So we are effectively turning two stitches into one. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and start to work a half double crochet, but stop here, so do not complete the stitch. So usually we would yarn over and pull through these two loops but we're not going to do that, we're going to move on to the next one. So yarn over and go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. So there we have started a second half double crochet, but we are not going to complete this one either. So there we have two incomplete half double crochets and you should have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook and you want to yarn over 
and pull through all five to complete the stitch. So there we have done seven half double crochets and then two half double crochets together. And you want to keep repeating that all the way around for round 12. So we're going to do seven half double crochets. like that and then you want to do two half double crochets together so yarn over go into the stitch pull up a loop and then yarn over go into the next stitch pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through all five loops and just keep repeating that all the way around so there I have finished working that all the way around for round 12 and at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. And now to finish off, go into the first half double crochet that you worked and work a slip stitch. So we are going to take our yarn and change colours at the same time. And now we're ready to move on to round 13. So to begin this round, chain one and turn. And for round 13, we are going to do something very similar to last round. But in this round, we're going to do four half double crochets and then two half double crochets together all the way around. So go into the first stitch and do one. And then do a second one and keep going until you have four like that and now do two half double crochets together over the next two stitches so like that and just keep repeating that all the way around. Four half double crochets, two half double crochets together, four half double crochets, two half double crochets together. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round 13. And I'm going to finish off this round by doing a slip stitch and changing colors. So I have inserted my hook into that stitch and now take your new colour and work a slip stitch. And now we're ready to move on to round 14, which is the final round of this leg. So chain one and turn. And in this round, we are going to be doing three half double crochets and then two half double crochets together. Then three half double crochets two half double crochets together all the way around so do one half double crochet into the first stitch and one into the next and the third and then do two half double crochets together like that and keep repeating that all the way around. So I have come to the end of round 14. So I have done my last set of two half double crochets together. And now we're going to finish off by doing a slip stitch into this first stitch here. So go into the first stitch and work a slip stitch. But we are actually going to finish this slip stitch without changing colors. So do a slip stitch as you normally would there. And now we can fasten off. So cut all three yarns that you were using. So I'm going to cut every color, leaving a tail to weave in later. Like that. 
And there we have finished the first leg of our dungarees and we're ready to move on to the second leg. So to begin the second leg, you want to turn your dungarees over to the back. So where you have the seam going down the back here and you want to attach your yarn into any stitch along the back, preferably towards the middle here. So go into any stitch towards the middle here. So I'm going to go into this one, insert your hook into that stitch, take your yarn, place it over the end of your hook, pull it through and chain one, like that. And now we're ready to move on to round one of this leg. So round one of this leg is the exact same as round one of the other leg. So we are just going to do 27 half double crochets. So do one down into this first stitch that you just attached your yarn into. And then do one into the next stitch. And keep going all the way around. And when you get to the middle here, go into the last stitch that is not worked into in the middle. So for me, that will be that stitch there. And then you want to turn your work around to the front and go into the next stitch which has not been worked into. Yarn over, go into this stitch and do a half double crochet. So that is how you go from the back round to the front. So there I have finished working those 27 half double crochets. And now the rest of this leg is the exact same as the opposite leg here. So for the next round, we're going to do the same thing as we did for round 12. So for this round here, we're going to do seven half double crochets and then two half double crochets together. So you want to do that all the way around for the next round here. And then you want to do the same thing as round 13. So we're going to do four half double crochets and then two half double crochets together all the way around for this leg as well. And then to finish off this leg, do the same thing as round 14. So that is three half double crochets and then two half double crochets together. And you want to change colors with each round that you do in the same way as you did this one. So just pick up your new yarn and change colours whilst doing the slip stitch. And then when you get to the end of round 14, fasten off and you will have completed the second leg. So there I have finished making the second leg in the exact same way and now we're going to move on to the last part of the dungarees and that is the top section here. So it will come up and go inwards and then lead on to the straps. So you want to start off with the front of your dungarees facing you and you want to go to the very middle here. So we're going to go in the centre and we're going to count 12 stitches to the right. So go in the very middle and then count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you want to insert your hook into this stitch and attach your yarn. So we are going to attach our yarn into that stitch. So insert your hook into that stitch, so 12 from the middle. And then take your yarn Place it over the end of your hook, pull it through and chain 
one. So chain one. And now for round one of the top of our dungarees, we are just going to do 24 half double crochets. So do one into this first stitch. And then do one into the next. And keep going until you have 24. So I'm just coming to the end of round one of the top of our dungarees and I need to do one more half double crochet, so my 24th one. So I'm going to yarn over, get into this last stitch and start to work my half double crochet. But whilst doing this last stitch, I'm going to change colours. So I have started the half double crochet and now I'm going to drop the yarn that I was using and take my new yarn, place it over the end of my hook and pull it through. And there we have completed the first round and changed colours at the same time. And now we're ready to move on to round two. So to begin this round you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to start off by doing two half double crochets together, so just as we have done before. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch and start to work a half double crochet, but do not complete it and move on to the second one. Start that one and then complete both at the same time. So there we have two half double crochets together and now you want to do one half double crochet into every single stitch until two from the end. So you want to stop when you have two stitches left at the end here. So do one half double crochet into the next stitch and one into the next and keep going until you have two at the end. So there I have done those half double crochets and I have two stitches left, one and two. And to finish off this round, we are going to do two half double crochets together over these last two stitches. And whilst working two half double crochets together, we are going to change colours. So start to work two half double crochets together but stop right before the last step. So usually we would yarn over and pull through all of these loops here, but you do not want to do that. Drop your yarn and take your new color, place it over the end of your hook and pull through all of the stitches like that. And there we have finished round two and we're ready to move on to round three. So we are now on to round three of the top of our dungarees and for the next six rounds, so for rounds three, four, five, six, seven and eight, we are just going to repeat round two, so the round that we just did. So to begin each round, chain one and turn and then you want to do two half double crochets together and then do one half double crochet into every single stitch until two stitches from the end and then finish off by doing a last set of two half double crochets together and change colours at the same time. So you want to do that all the way along for round three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And with each round that you do, you should find that the rounds get shorter and shorter. So we're going to be going in and decreasing on each side. So just keep repeating that until you get to the end of round eight. So 
So then once you have done that and you have come to the end of round eight, this is what you should have. So you should find that your rows decrease on each side. And when you get to the end of round eight, you should have just 10 stitches across at the top. And then you want to fasten off. So pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn. And then you want to go ahead and work a single crochet border all the way around the top, around the arms and around the back here along the bottom of your dungarees. So you want to work the border before you do the straps. So to do a single crochet border, just attach your yarn into any stitch around. So I think I went into this one here and then do one single crochet into that stitch and then do single crochets all the way around, all the way up here. So you're just doing single crochets, one into each stitch. And then when you're up here, you're working into the side of the stitches. So just work single crochets evenly up the side. And then when you get to the first corner here, you want to do three single crochets all into that corner stitch. So if you look, I have three little single crochets into that corner and that gives you a nice neat right angle. And then do single crochets all the way along and then work three single crochets into this corner stitch here. And then continue working single crochets down and around and then finish where you started off by doing a slip stitch into that stitch. So you want to go ahead and work a single crochet border all the way around the top. And then to finish off your dungarees, you want to add your crossover straps. So to do that, you want to attach your yarn into the very corner of this stitch here, and then do one single crochet into that stitch and then do a single crochet into the next stitch. So you have two single crochets and then chain one and turn and do one single crochet into each of those two stitches. So your straps are going to be two single crochets wide and you want to keep repeating that. So keep repeating chain one and turn and do two single crochets until your straps are 27 rounds long. So you want them to be two stitches wide and then 27 rounds long. And then when you get to the end, chain four and work a slip stitch into the next stitch. And that will create a little button loop. So you want to do that for one strap and then do the same thing for another strap in the exact same way two stitches wide and 27 rounds long and then you can cross them over add some little buttons on the back and then use the chains as button loops and we have finished so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos and in the description box below this video, I will leave links to the rest of the tutorials in this series. So these dungarees will fit any of my animals in my new animal series. And they, there are lots of different outfits. And I will leave links to all of the tutorials in the description box below. And I will also leave a link to where you can find the written patterns. And thank you again for watching. Bye.